The 30-year plan for Greater Adelaide lays the foundations for our city to grow and evolve over the next three decades. The plan recognises that our outward growth is constrained by surrounding high-value agricultural lands, such as the Barossa Valley and McLaren Vale, as well as significant natural environments, such as the Adelaide Hills. For this reason, we need to target future growth in strategic areas within metropolitan Adelaide, such as along existing transport corridors. Targeting growth also will help protect the character of many of our residential suburbs. Adelaide City Centre is key to this focused approach to growth. The State Government has introduced new planning policies and better urban design to attract more people and investment to the city centre and to make it more vibrant and economically sustainable. The parklands are also central to Greater Adelaide's future. Innovative new uses of the parklands will encourage more people to enjoy them and better connect the revitalised city centre with the growing suburbs that surround it. The Inner Metropolitan Councils are working with the State Government on an integrated growth project to guide future decision making on development. The project focuses on transport corridors and other strategic areas of each suburb, leaving the character of adjacent residential areas largely unchanged. This video shows how one strategic area could evolve into a lively, attractive and sustainable neighbourhood under the growth project. Port Road has the potential to combine efficient transport links to the city with new housing that complements the strong business precinct, creating a vibrant mixed-use environment close to the Bowdoin development and the lifestyle benefits of the parklands. By focusing growth along transport corridors such as Henley Beach Road, adjacent suburbs can maintain their own unique identities. These suburbs also will benefit from the improved retail and commercial opportunities and services and facilities that will emerge in new corridor developments. This scenario is just one example of how key areas in Adelaide's inner metro suburbs could grow and look in the future. The first step involves amendments to council development plans to allow for more concentrated growth and a mix of land uses along transport corridors and strategic areas. These amendments are now out on public consultation. The actual built environment in these areas will evolve gradually over time. The Inner Metro Growth Project complements the development plan for Adelaide City and supports better use of the parklands to improve access for all Greater Adelaide residents. To find out more about the Inner Metro Growth Project, and give your feedback on proposed planning changes, visit this web address.